just making sure that my macro works well. Uh, well, I'm glad to be here with you today and to join this section and to share with you uh, some of the recent trends in the hardware bullets industry. My name is Daria. I'm business development lead in Tanjum, one of the most popular uh, simple and secure hardware bullet providers. And today we are going to deep dive into current trends into uh, hardware bullet industry. And actually, I would love to talk to you about something that is redefining the way you think about money, the future of hardware wallets. So, uh, in the world of cryptocurrency, it's like having a very, very secure, uh, top-notch digital world. So, when it comes to security, we want to make sure that this uh, digital world is absolutely secure. And uh, now let's also highlight something that sounds fancy, but actually is a real headache, the seed phrase. It works like a secret code to your digital world where you secure your cryptocurrency. So what if someone sneaky gets hold of it? Not cool, right? So I would love to share with you today something that totally redefines the way we talk about cryptocurrency and the way we secure them. And it's Tanjum. Tanjum is the first seedless hardware wallet that uh, reshaped the industry of hardware wallets and introduced a very innovative way of storing your private keys. Uh, so uh, what exactly is uh, the most frequent reason of uh, the bad news that we actually hear quite often in media? Uh, they could be related to some uh, money leakages, uh, to uh, hacks of crypto wallets and most people they don't really uh, dig very deeply into the reasons of these hacks because if they would they would reveal that most commonly it's just a human mistake and this human mistake is done uh, due to seed phrase so Tanjim is here uh, to introduce a totally innovative and disruptive uh, solution to manage your private keys without seed phrase how exactly does it work? Let me share with you. So, uh, Tanjim Wallet is a set of either two or three cards that have a, a secure element inside and a chip that holds your private key securely and never exposed to anyone. When you activate your wallet, the private key is being generated inside the chip and afterwards it's being securely copied uh, to another set of cards without any other uh, copies of your private key. So finally, instead of seed phrase, we have two or three re physical representatives of your private key. Uh, so when you need to sign a transaction, you just take your card off your pocket. Uh, all you need is actually just a Tangent card, NFC-enabled phone, and Tangent application. So uh, you can get started with Tangent in just three minutes. The simplicity of the user experience is a total game changer here. And uh, you, everything you need is just to tap your card against your phone to sign a transaction. And you don't have to care about your seed phrase, about uh, securely storing it, because you never know what is your private key exactly. Since uh, in Tanjim your private key is never exposed in an open way, you will never give you, yourself a possibility to make a mistake and to share with someone else. So neither you, neither Tanjim, neither anyone else is able to know what is your private key. Uh, well, so this is the first uh, totally game-changing trend that I would love to share with you. And we at Tanjim believe that with the time, more and more people will adopt this technology and more companies will introduce seedless uh, approach to hardware wallets. And we are actually uh, very glad to see that uh, based on our own research on Tangibullet users, uh, we have revealed that 88% of Tangibullet users use our wallet without seed phrase. Uh, in Tangium, there are two possibilities and two methods to activate your wallet, either with seed phrase or without seed phrase. And uh, so finally, uh, we can definitely see this strong uh, tendency uh, of our users to prefer a seedless solution. Uh, next, I would love to focus on simplicity. Nowadays, hardware wallets are not just about storing your cryptocurrency securely. They are also about your everyday life experience. 
and uh, we at Tanjum are making your journey as much simple as possible. And uh, actually, uh, you don't need to have any USB cables, any computers, any additional plugins to get started your journey with crypto. And that's why we believe that this uh, simplicity and uh, simplified user experience is a real gateway to crypto for those who haven't been onboarded yet and can find it quite difficult to get started. So uh, since uh, Tantrum is just a card, app, uh, and your phone, and you can get started with it just in three minutes, uh, one of our ambassadors even made a social experience uh, where he approached random people on the street trying to, um, to see how fastly they would be able to get started with Tantrum. And uh, they didn't have any instructions. They could manage this totally intuitively, and I would love to share with you some shots. How does it work? Um, I would love to ask just uh, those who are in the back end to increase the volume of the video so as we could uh, enjoy the slide. Well, so uh, unfortunately, we don't have the, the sound, but I will just describe you briefly. Uh, so basically, to be able to get started with Tangent Wallet, you just need to uh, activate your first card, uh, then to take your secondary and third card, and to cr uh, create the backup. So one of our ambassadors tried to approach people on the street who haven't been using uh, hardware wallets before at all. And uh, we tried to make this social experience to prove that it's really easy to get started with crypto, that there is no need to do anything else than just to have a try. Uh, well, so this is what our product exactly looks like. And let's see how fast uh, uh, someone that is not really crypto native can deal with it. As we can see, the social experiment was uh, successful and we can prove that it's really very easy to get started and it's a real game changer when you have very simple UX without needing seed phrase, without needing any additional uh, plugins, cables, computer. And well, so uh, crypto is actually available to anyone and now you can even try to give Tangent Wallet to your grandmother and to see how fast she will be able to deal with it, to get started with crypto, to activate a wallet, and to buy Bitcoin and maybe become rich even faster than all of us. Well, so that's the first uh, seedless approach was the first uh, groundbreaking trend that I would love to share with you. And now, moving forward, there is also something very tasty on the plate. And uh, in particular, I would love to talk about form factors. Why are we condemning of a hardware wallet like a USB key? What about having a very small, fashionable, stylish ring that could also be your wallet? So currently, Tangem is developing this solution and we are planning to launch Tangem rings that will work exactly the same way as Tangem cards. And uh, the public sale will uh, be available for the moment. Uh, it's planned uh, by the end of this year. So, uh, what I would love to outline here is that to achieve a real mass adoption of crypto, it's really necessary to have very simple, easy, usual, everyday life form factors, not just the product and its user experience, but also the shape of it. So, nowadays, hardware wallets are not just about what you carry, uh, but how you carry it. And uh, Tangent Ring is a real step forward to uh, mass adoption of crypto and to onboarding new audiences that haven't been using cryptocurrency yet. 
Uh, the next uh, point I would love to reveal to you is actually connectivity. Today, hardware wallets are not just about storing your crypto securely. They also have access to the apps, uh, uh, some secondary functionality like crypto exchanges, uh, staking and uh, fiat on ramp of ramp. So uh, today it's really important to provide as many functionality in one product as possible to make uh, the user experience uh, as simple as possible. And Dungeon Wallet actually uh, by having uh, by being connected uh, by having connectivity with uh, Wallet Connect, it's possible to get connected to any kind of DApp you want. It can be an NFT marketplace, a trading platform, it can be an exchange, uh, DEX, or whatever you need. And you can do it just by having your wallet in your pocket, and uh, no need to, to do any additional plugins. So. Dungeon is an ultimate solution to all your crypto needs that you may have that is just in your pocket and that's totally reshaping the user experience. Well, so uh, talking about connectivity, it's also worth mentioning that uh, like usually we use several wallets for various purposes. You can use a hot wallet for everyday transaction. You can use a wallet extension for getting connected to the apps, and we use uh, cold storage hardware wallets for uh, long-term storage. So now you don't need to diversify that much, and you can solve every, all your problems, all your needs with just one product, because it's very convenient. You can, ha you can use Tangent from anywhere and anytime you want. Uh, as the next uh, uh, headline, I would love to talk about is actually coming back to security. There is a very controversial and heatedly discussed topic in the hardware world industry. Open source or closed source? Uh, well, so here I would love to outline a next trend that will possibly also have very big impact in the hardware world industry and it's the importance of independent auditors. Uh, many people believe that uh, Open source is the key to trustworthy and to security. But in fact, it's not always working like that. Uh, hardware wallets usually have the software open source, but most uh, frequently they keep the firmware closed source. And there is an explanation for this. Uh, usually the more information you provide about your technology, about the firmware and uh, everything that stands behind the product, the more uh, clues you give to potential hackers to, uh, to, to break down your system. So uh, when you hear messages that are actually currently invading the crypto space about open source, don't be fooled by this. Sometimes it's just used for the, uh, for the sake of marketing. And actually for the hardware wallets, for real secure solutions like cold storage and hardware wallets, uh, independent auditors are the only way to prove that everything that the company has declared about the product and declared about its firmware is true. Tangibolt in particular has two independent audits from two various companies, Kudeski Security and Rescure. And Tangem also keeps uh, its uh, application open source. This is made for the purpose that if one day, uh, let's, uh, let's imagine that Apple Store decides to delete the app, or let's say that Tangem stops to operate. So to make our users to feel secure that anything will happen to their digital assets, uh, we made the application open source. Uh, and in this case, everyone who is uh, technically native will be able to recreate the app and all the Tangem wallet users and Tangem card holders will be able to continue to use the wallet exactly as before. And the last thing I would love to share with you today, uh, another trend, is actually personalization and co-branding. Uh, the users of today are actually looking for something very individual and something that uh, shapes uh, their style and individuality. Apart from that, many users uh, diversify and use various hardware wallets and sometimes even from the same brand. So how can they make sure that uh, their hardware wallet device belongs to them but not to someone else? Like imagine a situation when 
for example, in your family, everyone has the same wallet and you need to make sure that you don't use the card of your grandma that is just about to become rich. So for this purpose, Tanjum has uh, introduced possibility for companies, for individuals, for influencers to collaborate with us and to launch a limited edition design uh, Tanjum wallets. This uh, um, approach is actually can be used in many various use cases and currently we already have a very wide uh, selection of uh, co-brandings, of limited edition designs that we have launched together with cryptocurrency foundations, with uh, neo banks, with closed communities, with influencers, and even with non web projects. There are many use cases on how those cards can be used, not only in your individual personal experience, but also for, for businesses. So you can um, resell Tangent wallets under your brand, powered by Tangent technology. You can also provide uh, Tangent wallets for your VIP partners, and you can simply give away uh, customized branded tangibles to your community. So this is something that we would love to like invite you to explore. And if it's something that resonates with your needs, with your company, uh, and with your targets, so feel free to get connected with us, to talk with me personally and with my AFSOM team. We are going to be here just behind the stage with a branded booth. So feel free to reach out to us and to continue this conversation about uh, recent trends and we will be glad to share more details with you about that. So thank you very much and wish you a great ending of the day. Bye.